Hello everyone, welcome to Chirax PostgreSQL DB tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up streaming replication in PostgreSQL step by step in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So, first we will go through that uh, what is the Postgres replication? The process of copying data from one Postgres database server to another server is called Postgres SQL replication. The source database is usually called the master server and other database where is data is receiving to copy that copied data is called the replica server. In this video, we, are, we will see how to set up a streaming replication in Postgres step by step on Ubuntu 22.04. So now we'll go through one by one and uh, first check there is a no recovery dot one file on the standby anymore that is a replica setup of the streaming replication and slightly change in the PostgreSQL. So now we'll go through that. So here I have a two server. Two server. One is the Postgres master and another is a Postgres uh, SQL replica. So first server IP is this one 192 168 72 128 and second server is 192 168 72.219 so let me open both the server this is my first server so let me change the name this is my master server and i'm giving the second server a name is replica server so this is master this is replica so and before that before doing this i already in uh, if you go through my previous uh, video so postgres sql is already installed on the master and slab both the server replica server both the server so step one configure on the master server so i am going through the step one there is a configuration on the master server on master server configure of ip listening uh, this thing already i did now i am going to postgres sql.config by removing as on the front of listening address so where i'll give the star which means it will uh, it will look like this address is equal to star on the master server this is a master server so i'm going this Check that code. Connection string. This addresses. Addresses same. So I'm going to remove this. And here I'll put. file I'll save next now connect to the process sql master server and create the replica login so i'm creating the replica login so i'm connecting the master server Connected with the chair with that So now I have a, these are the users. So we have these are the users and list of the databases I have database user. Yes. Now I'm going to create user replicator with the replication encrypted password. This I'm running this query. So role is created. 
check replicator role and uh, the replication attribute say replication is created okay so next enter the following details on pg.hba.config which is located in this location so here i will just open the pg hba first page uh, authentication file We'll just add this one so host the replication user replicator address i am giving to 129 that is my replica ip so once and, and md5 right and quit now set up uh, streaming replication in process step by step uh, so the first part is completed now i'm going to restart the postgresql so this is the command and other commands also available to restart the postgresql so restarted successfully next configure on the slab standby server so now i'm now i'm going to configure the slab server so you have to install the postgresql on the slab server by using command so i am going to install the postgresql postgres status let me check the postgres status first status yeah this is active and running so i am going to stop that let me check the status again yeah this is now inactive so there is an inactive previously it was showing active okay. next speed now i'm going to switch uh, with the postgres user and i'm going to copy the file user in postgres now now cp So, yeah. previously one main only now i created main.old so i copied all the file from the main i'm going to remove the file uh, folder main folder removed now main old is open only that next use the backup uh, best backup to take the best backup with uh, best backup with the right ownership and with the postgres or any user right permission so i'm going to use the best backup from 128 to replicate it with the using slot one so this is the code for the best backup Best backup, best backup is completed. So write ad log, everything is created here. Let me check. Yeah, main folder is created. Previously it was not there. So next, 
best effort coverage is completed everything is there now notice that um, there is a standby dot signal is created on the are appended to this one let me check see extend by dot signal and post grace auto dot config is created here so whenever you are doing the uh, doing the, uh, the replication streaming replication you should just be careful with that this file should be there for the replication so a replication is left run with the hot standby mode if the uh, hot standby parameter is set to be on the postgres so config is standby signal uh, file present on the data direct now connect to the master server you uh, should be able to see the replication slot call the slot uh, slot slab one with the op open with the PG slot view in the view or watch. So I am going to check on the master server login. So this is see slot one physical and everything is created. Now change the replication setup. Now start uh, start the Postgres on the slab. So I'm going to start the Postgres on slab server because we already stopped that. Now I'm going to start. Authentication is completed. Yeah. Let's check the status. Yeah, it's working active. Now I'm trying to create the object on the database slab server and it throws error because slab standby is read only server. So I'm going to try to create the database on slab server and that slab server in standby mode. So it won't allow to create the database. already I'm in Postgres yes good so, just trying to create this is my slave replica server I'm going to create the database so can you attribute create database in the read only transaction so let me check control L so these are the databases and these are the roles and users okay it won't allow now uh, check the state of restraint by using the blow command so i'm going to check the status yeah it's working and uh, everything this is receiving from the our master server and this is a slab server so next now i'm going to verify with the verify with the type of the synchronous or asynchronous with the command of the below so this will i'll run with the master database server and i will check the my replication status asynchronous and this is a replicating the 129 here I have, we are seeing the 128 so this is a master server everything is replicating next is I just try to create one database and I'll check this database is connect uh, 
created on slab server or not replica server or not there so master server i'm going to create one stream the database is created let me control l or slash l stream with database is created there is a don't have, we don't have the stream database now let me say yeah, database is created so now connect with the slab and verify the database so i can run this command also and i can verify the databases so stream databases is created so now you want to uh, enable the synchronous then you run the below command to the uh, master database and just restart the postgresql reload the postgresql so i am going to use this command and so system altered SQL. Previously, this one uh, is synchronous. Now it is synchronizing with the. Uh, there is a difference. So we did that, and uh, synchronous uh, standby name uh, is changed. So. Finally, we have successfully set up the streaming replication in PostgreSQL step by step, and all will all the code will be available with our application uh, website and YouTube also. So, if you want to test the replication again, you you can run on the master. You there is just we can run this one. It will show the streaming, and in replica we can get the receiver details. For any doubts and query, please write on the YouTube video comments section. Thank you for watching. Hope the servers are working. Thank you for watching. Hope this will help. Thank you.